So what people are looking for in a small business ERP solution is simplicity. And Business One uh, really drives that simplicity. An example of that is in the way that you apply patches or do an upgrade. With 8.8, we've incorporated the Business One Upgrade Wizard. Very, very simple. You download the file, go into the extracted files, and you double click on Upgrade. Put in the license server IP address or machine name, which should be pre-filled in for you. Choose next. Put in your B1 site user password, which was set up when you first installed the system. And then put in your SQL Server password, again, uh, which would have been set up when your SQL Server was uh, originally configured. You just choose next. Then you get a list of all the components in the system that can be upgraded. Nine times out of ten, you'll just leave all of these ticked. You can see exactly which version they're currently on. Uh, and then you just choose next. So you can deselect the ones that you don't want. Now let's go through and pick which of the company databases we want to upgrade. Simply put in our user ID and password. And you'll see the system will tell you as soon as you put in your password that that database is ready for upgrade. This is checking a couple of things. For example, if there's anybody else currently logged onto the system. So if there is, you get a message saying not ready and you can click on that uh, and it'll tell you exactly what the reason is um, that's stopping the database from being ready for an upgrade. In this case, all of our databases are ready. So we just simply choose next. And now we got uh, we've got a little bit of a summary of what's going to happen here. We're going to do our pre-upgrade test or our pre-upgrade check. Now the pre-upgrade check is going to go through and it's checking for a whole range of different things like has the data, um, is the data uh, integrity right? Um, have you gone through and done anything like adding triggers or anything like that to the data and so on. So it's progressively going to go through each of your databases and it's just going to give you um, a result here and you can see uh, all of our databases uh, basically passing the test. We'll give this a couple more seconds until we see that this last database has actually passed the test. Then if you look at the details, for example, you'll see all of the checks that are done uh, and what the result was. Really more helpful if it goes to do the upgrade and it fails. So this will tell you exactly where the issue is. But you can see the level of checks that are actually being done in the system. So again, you don't need to be a database expert to use SAP Business One. Next step, it's automatically going to back up your data uh, databases before it goes ahead and does uh, the upgrade for you. Just tell it where you want the databases to be backed up. In our case we just selected the, the default SQL Server backup location and then we hit next and the system goes ahead and it starts running through the upgrades. Now some of those upgrades will involve upgrading the data. Some of them will involve upgrading programs on your server. In this case the server tools for example. So again um, all you need to do is go through and just uh, answer a couple of questions. You know, in this case, you can see it's really simple stuff like you know putting in your user ID and your company name, and then you just choose next. Tell it what kind of installation. I always like to do a custom install. Uh, that way, I get to see everything that's going on. In this case, I'm going to also uh, add the mailer, and I just say next. And then we let the SAP Business One installation program go ahead, deinstall the current version of the server tools, and upgrade that with the latest version of the server tools. So again, the key to this, the first few steps which involve potentially having to take some actions on the server, you'll probably want to be sitting there in front of the server while that's happening. But then once we move on to this next stage where, where you can see we're starting to upgrade the databases, depending on the size of your databases, you know, this might be something that you might want to start on a, you know, a, of an afternoon uh, and then come in and check uh, the next morning to make sure it's all gone effectively. Um, or of course you can check it during the evening, log on to your server using um, whatever remote uh, desktop system that you, that you want to use and just double check how it's going. Again, the amount of time that it takes will depend 100% on the size of your databases and of course um, the power that you have sitting inside uh, your SQL server. So again, you can see um, that all of my databases have been upgraded and now it's going through and it's upgrading a couple of the other components in the system. In this case, it's going to upgrade the DI API because I've got that installed on, uh, on my SQL Server. 
So I'm going to let that happen. Now the other thing um, that you're going to see happen here in a second is the data transfer workbench is going to be upgraded as well. I always like to install the data transfer workbench on my main SQL server. Why? Because that way when I'm doing any data migrations or anything like that, I always like to do that directly on the SQL server. That way the, um, you know, those, those upgrades, those um, data transformations, bringing that data in tends to run a lot quicker when you're running on the same uh, physical server as the SQL server box itself. So you're not sending data across the network. So just a little, uh, a little tip there that, um, that might be helpful for you. We'll give this a couple more seconds just while it runs through uh, and installs the data transfer workbench and we're almost at the end of the process. So you can see all of my, uh, all of my systems have been upgraded successfully. I'm able to go ahead and click on the details if I want to, but again, um, what you'll find um, is that because everything went, su went successfully, I might not want to do that. Of course, we do produce an upgrade log, which you can keep a copy of, and it shows everything that's occurred during the, um, during the upgrading process. So very, very handy thing to have. And that's it. Your, uh, your SAP Business One system has now been upgraded and is ready to go. Now you can go out and you can, uh, you can start running the clients, which will auto-upgrade.